We are in Italy, Florence, and have an appointment with Donato Masci. He started to be famous for well-made control rooms, now outside Italy too. We try to get his experience and opinion of importance, especially for large main monitors as the new 1236. First time heard of him was with Andrea Bocelli and then Pierpaolo Guerrini's new studio in Lucca area. I think that every studio uh, has to be uh, different from others. I really don't want to design um, studios in a box. They need to be different. The design and the static part is very important, so not only about colors, but also shapes. We could uh, arrange different shapes of uh, absorbers uh, or perforating panels and diffusers. I think this is very important for the people that are working inside. I try to mix the Italian design with the technical part. When I started this job, one of the first uh, room I designed was uh, from uh, Andrea Bocelli, uh, sound engineer, Pierpaolo Guerrini. In that case, we have 1039 and we can make some uh, deep switch adjustment uh, for a fine tuning of the room, of course. And this is the way we work since until now. Now we have AutoCAL, which is a very, very important tool and useful tool for us because they, it gives you a right flat response, very beautiful. After that, uh, and trying to wither without the AutoCAL and making some fine tuning with my hands uh, on, on the AutoCAL. I think that 1236 with AutoCAL is a real good improvement because a fine tuning like this, it would be really, really helpful for us, for acoustic designers, uh, to control the minimum phase low frequency boost, but also the reflection from the desk that in this kind of studies are really, really big. And uh, this is very, very important for us because uh, this really help the designer and the client to fix all the problems in the room, also after a very, very good uh, acoustic design of the room. So AutoCal could help you to do this. Placing the monitor in the room is the most important thing. The interaction between the monitor and the room, of course. We have different kind of monitors that could insert in the control room, near field, mid fields, and big monitor. But uh, the physics is the same. So the best way to insert a monitor, of course, in the room is to flush mount it. And it's very important to decide um, which kind of material uh, would be the baffle for the flush mount of the monitors. I prefer massive materials like concrete and they sound really, really good for me. And I think it's the best way to give a very good response and a very good feeling of low frequencies in the room. <laughs>